Nice to meet you. My name is Chang Hwan Lee. I'm working on Seoul National University of Science and Technology as an ass assistant professor. It's my honor to present my research on IDDRG 2020. I'll start my presentation. My presentation topic is the incremental forming process of the ultra thin stainless steel sheet. The title is A Study on the Formability of Ultra Thin Stainless Steel Sheet in the Incremental Sheet Forming Process. In this time, there are three manufacturing processes of metal, such as plastic working, machining, and casting. For mass production, plastic working and casting is widely employed. For these two types of the manufacturing processes, the die set should be included in the manufacturing process. The die set for the dedicated geometry is employed in the manufacturing process. Nowadays, the need for the flexible manufacturing process is increasing. Sheet metal, sheet incremental forming process is a typical example of the manufacturing flexible manufacturing process. It requires three basic devices such as the tool, sheet holder, and the material. The tool is a cylindrical shape. The tip of the tool was machined with a spherical shape. The tool was connected to the three-dimensional CNC machine. The tool moves along the dedicated tool path. As you can see in the movies, the tool moves along the design tool path. As a lizard, various shapes can be manufactured with the sheet incremental forming process. The procedure of the sheet incremental forming process is shown in the below figure. First, the CAD data was generated from the CAD program. After that, the tool pass was generated through the CAM process. Using the generated G code, the sheet was formed in the three-dimensional CNC tool. The sheet incremental forming process is a CNC based forming technology such as 3D printing. We have employed ultra thin stainless steel sheets in the incremental forming process. The ultra thin stainless steel sheets are utilized as an engine gasket, small parts for a car, connector for electric part, integrated circuit, loop, hood, separator for fuel cells and blows. It has many applications due to their lightweight and high specific strengths. First, we have summarized the previous works, the sheet incremental forming process with the thin switch. Obikawa uh, conducted on micro incremental forming process with an aluminum foil. They employed Three small three-dimensional CNC machine to fabricate structures. They fabricated small structures such as on car shape and English characters. As you can see in this figure, the shape was fabricated very accurately. Sheet incremental forming process enables to form micro object too accurately with more geometric flexibility. My research team employed ultra thin stainless steel sheet in the sheet incremental forming process. Uh, in, this, in the test, we have employed the thickness of 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.08, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01 mm were employed. First, we have conducted the tensile test. The test material was stainless steel 304. First, uh, we conducted tensile test with the universal testing machine. The specimen was cut through wire EDM process with a fixture. Since stain stainless steel sheet was very unstable after fracture, as you can see in this figure, the, the material is has been fractured and these are very flexible. The thickness lower than 0.05 mm was banned due to their, their weight. This page presents the material properties of ultra-thin stainless steel sheet. As you can see in the figure, 
the elongation of the material decreases dramatically as the thickness decreases. For 0 .01, 0 0.1 thickness, the elongation is nearly 60%. However, as the thickness is decreasing, the, the elongation of the 0 0.01 is 3.44%. Uh, it's very, very low. At the same time, the ultimate tensile strength and the yield strength is increasing. For 0.03 mm, the ultimate tensile strength is 1,653 MPa and for yield stress, the yield stress for 0.03 is 1,524 MPa. Due to the cold rolling process, the strength of the material and strength is increasing. The next slide presents the experimental devices for the incremental forming process. We have employed CNC machines such as uh, Namsung NR35. The size of the holder was 150mm by 150mm. The forming region was 100mm by 100mm. The tool was machined with the radius of 4mm. The same tool and the same devices was employed for all the sheet metal incremental forming process. The next slide presents the target geometry. The target geometry in this work was conical shaped with different angles. The forming condition was the spin speed of 6000 RPM and the feed rate of 800 mm per minute. The incremental forming height, such as delta G, was 0.3 mm. The forming condition was fixed. Uh, the effect of the forming condition was not included in this study. The effect of the thickness was considered in this study. The radius of the conical shape was 35 mm. In this work, the angle of the conical shape was modified. In the incremental forming process, the sine law shown in, the, in this slide was applied to predict the deformation amount of the material. The strain of the material is related with the angle of the slope. To compare the formability, the angle of the shape was selected as a process variable. The first one presents the experimental result of ultra thin stainless steel sheet. We have categorized two four cases. The first one is fracture. The material showed fracture. The next one is the partial fracture. There was a spot in the slope. The material showed very small holes in the slope region. The next one is linkling. The geometry showed linkling due to the low stability of the material. The last one is the successful forming. We have compared the experimental result with different thickness and angles. These figures present the examples of the experimental result with different thickness. When the thickness is 0.03 mm and 0.05 mm, the material showed fracture. The conical shape was not formed successfully. When the thickness is 0.08 mm, it showed linkling. When the thickness is 0.1 mm, the geometry was formed successfully. This table presents the experimental lizard with different thickness and angles. S means the successful forming, W means linkling, F means fracture, and P up means the partial fracture. The lesion in the light upward one is a successful forming lesion. As the thickness of the material increased, the successful forming angle is increased and the elongation of the material increases. Between the successful forming and the fracture, there was linkling. Unlike the other incremental forming process, linkling have a significant effect. We have compared 
the permeability in the sheet metal increment point process and the uniaxial tensile test. For all cases, the plastic strain obtained from the forming angle was larger than the elongation in uniaxial tensile test. Sheet increment forming process increases the plasticity of the material higher than other forming process and can be produced a uh, complex geometry. The below figures present the examples of the experimental result. My research group is working on the forming limit diagram and link formation. Forming limit diagram of the increment forming process is undergoing. The formation of the link link will be talked later in this presentation. We have compared the thickness di distribution with the predicted value and the experimental result. The predicted value was obtained from the sign law. The angle of the 40 degree with the thickness of 0.1 mm, 0.08 mm, and 0.05 mm was compared. For three cases, the conical shape was formed successfully and the thickness was measured with a micrometer. The horizontal line in the figure show a predicted value. In the slope region, the predicted thickness showed a similar result with the predicted line. From this result, it was found that in the sheet increment forming process, the thickness di distribution follows the sine law and also the permeability with different angle was applied successfully. I will talk about the formation of the linkling. The linkling in the cup shape was formed during the forming process. This movie presents the incremental forming process with the thickness of 0.1 mm and the angle of 60 degree. As you can see in this movie, the link link was formed earlier stage of the forming process. Linkers have a significant effect on the product. So before fracture, the link link occurred as the forming angle increases. The manufactured geometry was evaluated through the 3D scanning. These four images are the 3D scanned lizard. The deformed geometry were measured with the 3D scanner. These four figures present the examples of the link formation. The patterns in the link link are the same direction as the tool movement. So this one is for the thickness of 0.03 and this one is for the 0.05 and this one 0.08 and this one is the movie condition. The thickness is 0.1 and the angle is 60 degree. We have compared two cases. The first one is the thickness of 0.1 millimeter and the angle of 50 degree. The next one is the same thickness and the angle of 60 degree. When the angle is 50 degree, we cannot see the linkling formation. However, when the angle is 60 degree, the linkling occurred very seriously. The grid was drawn before the incremental forming process. The grid showed twisting in the slope. When the grid angle when the grid in the angle of 60 degree is showed severe distortion. As the forming angle increases, the thickness of the wall decreases. Due to its low stability and decreased thickness, the geometry cannot be maintained as a result in resulting the occurrence of the link link. The next slide shows the amount of the link link in the incremental forming process. The target geometry was the cat lizard. The delta H was the geometric difference in the slope. When the angle was 50 degree, the geometry was very similar with the target geometry. However, when the angle is 60 degree, it showed large difference. And the light difference, light graph present the relationship between delta H and the thickness when the linker occurs. The amount of the link link 
increases as the sinus increases. At the same time, the foaming angle increases. The low end value of ultra thin stainless steel sheet is another region of the wrinkling. And we have conducted with the incremental foaming process with different two sides. As the two sides decreases, the plastic deformation is localized. The region where the plastic deformation occurred in the same tool pass decreases. Consequently, the decreased tool pass resulting in strong wrinkling. And the increases tool size resulting in the fracture of the material. In this e experiment, the tool with the diameter of 8 mm is proper. I will summarize my presentation. First, we have found the stable forming condition of ultra thin stainless steel sheet in the incremental forming process. As the thickness of the material decreases, the permeability of the material decreases. At the same time, the maximum formable angle in the incremental forming process decreases. Sheet trim incremental forming process improves permeability of ultra thin stainless steel sheet. The drawing of FLD with ultra thin stainless steel sheet is under study. As the foaming angle increases, the thickness of the wall decreases. Due to low stability, the geometry cannot be maintained. Consequently, the wrinkling occurred in the slope region. Thank you for listening.